Hello, 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 hello. So I've started early because I wanted to stream the um, verdict. So I decided to stream. Shannon, if you're here, thank you for the heads up. This is just the um, ice cream murder results. So, thank you very much. Good uh, morning, everyone. Mr. Escobar, it's my understanding you did not want to wait for Mr. Grant. Is that correct? Uh, he's uh, on his way back from something. Uh, I've got uh, the next uh, hands and some depositions for another client in another jurisdiction as well. Uh, but he's not here to our client to, to wait any longer. Okay. Um, and, uh, My understanding, the bailiffs have uh, informed me that the jury uh, indicated that they have a verdict. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring them out. I will uh, receive the verdict from them. I will review it to make sure that it is signed and dated and that anything that needs to be checked is uh, appropriately checked. I will hand it to the clerk to be published. All right, let's get the jury. I'll also ask them the question that I always ask them to make sure that they didn't have any discussions or exposure to the case time between the time they left yesterday and they returned this morning to begin deliberating. <clears throat> I guess guilty, not guilty. Yeah. All rise, jury and courtroom. He must be tucked in his trousers right now. Jury is present and seated. Everyone else can be seated at this time. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, good morning and welcome back. The first question that I have of you is now is my first opportunity this morning to see you is just to ensure that no one discussed this case amongst themselves or with anyone else or did any research or was exposed to anything about this case between the time that you left the courtroom yesterday when I sent you home at approximately 530 at the time that you returned back this morning is my understanding the evidence was delivered to you at 8.35 this morning to begin deliberating. So between those times, the time you left yesterday at 5.30 and the time you returned um, and began deliberating again at 8.35 this morning by show of hands, anyone discuss this case, do any research related to this case, or exposed to this case in any way? Excellent. Let the record reflect that there are no hands. Again, thank you all very much. It's my understanding the bailiffs have indicated that the jury has reached a verdict in this case. My first question is usually, 
were you able to select a four person and who that four person is? But because we had a communication from the jury yesterday regarding the read, I know that the four person is, I almost said your name. I'm not going to say your name. It's number six, uh, previously uh, number 48, but seated in number six, initials JS. So, Mr. JS, my question then is to you. You are the four person, correct? Yes, Your Honor, I am. All right. Has this jury reached a unanimous verdict in this case? Yes, Your Honor. Do you have the verdict form? Yes, I do, would, Your Honor. Would you please present it to the bailiff and thank you very much? I will review it and then I will give it to the clerk to be published. All right, Mr. Keatley, if you will please stand for the publishing of the verdict, and counsel, you may stand with him. And Madam Clerk, if you will please publish the verdict at this time. State of Florida versus Michael Edward Keatley, case number 10, CF 18429. We, the jury, find as follows as to count one, victims Victor Sergio Guitron. The defendant is guilty of murder in the first degree as charged. And one, did the defendant personally carry, display, use, threaten, or attempt to use a firearm? Yes. Number two, did the defendant actually possess a firearm? Yes. Number three, did the defendant discharge the firearm? Yes. Number four, did the discharge of the firearm cause the death of Sergio Guitron? Yes. We, the jury, find as follows as to count two, victim Juan Guitron. A, the defendant is guilty of murder in the first degree as charged. And one, did the defendant personally carry, display, use, threaten, or attempt to use a firearm? Yes. Number two, did the defendant actually possess a firearm? Yes. Number three, did the defendant discharge the firearm? Yes. Number four, did the discharge of the firearm cause... The death of Juan Gutron. Yes. We, the jury, find as follows as to count three, victim Gonzalo Guevara. A, the defendant is guilty of attempted murder in the first degree as charged. And one, did the defendant personally carry, display, use, threaten, or attempt to use a firearm? Yes. Number two, did the defendant actually possess a firearm? Yes. Number three, did the defendant discharge the firearm? Yes. Number four, did the discharge of the firearm cause great bodily harm to Gonzalo Guevara? Yes. We, the jury, find as follows as to count four, victim Daniel Beltran. A, the defendant is guilty of attempted murder in the first degree as charged. Number one, did the defendant personally carry, display, use, threaten, or attempt to use a firearm? Yes. Number two, did the defendant actually possess a firearm? Yes. Number three, did the defendant discharge the firearm? Yes. Number four, did the discharge of the firearm cause great bodily harm to Daniel Beltran? Yes. We, the jury, find as follows as to count five. Victim Richard Cantu. A, the defendant is guilty of attempted murder in the first degree as charged. 
Number one, did the defendant personally carry, display, use, threaten, or attempt to use a firearm? Yes. Number two, did the defendant actually possess a firearm? Yes. Number three, did the defendant discharge the firearm? Yes. Number four, did the discharge of the firearm cause great bodily harm to Richard Cantu? Yes. We, the jury, find as follows as to count six, victim Ramon Galan. A, the defendant is guilty of attempted murder in the first degree as charged. Number one, did the defendant personally carry, display, use, threaten, or attempt to use a firearm? Yes. Number two, did the defendant actually possess a firearm? Yes. Number three, did the defendant discharge the firearm? Yes. Number four, did the discharge of the firearm cause great bodily harm to Ramon Galan? Yes. So say we all dated this 28th day of March, 2023, signed by the four person JS. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Would the defense like the jury polled at this time? Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, what that means is the clerk is going to ask each one of you individually whether the verdict that she published is, in fact, your true verdict in this case. The defense may be seated. Juror number one, JP, is this your true and correct verdict? It is. Juror number two, AB, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes, it is. Juror number three, JW, is this your true and correct verdict? It is. Juror number four, RC, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes, it is. Juror number five, CM, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes. Juror number six, JS, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes. Juror number seven, BH, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes, ma'am. Juror number eight, TJ, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes, ma'am. Juror number nine, JF, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes, ma'am. Juror number 10, EA, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes, ma'am. Juror number 11, JW, is this your true and correct verdict? I'm sorry. Juror number 11, JD, is this your true and correct verdict? Juror number 12. Yes, 12 is JD. Juror number 12. Yes. Sorry. Okay, it is. Is it? Okay. And juror number 13, DS, is this your true and correct verdict? Yes, ma'am. Is there anything from either side before the court releases the jury? No, ma'am. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, this is my last opportunity to thank you. Throughout the past four weeks, I have thanked you for your patience with us your very important service, and your attention to this very important case. I'm going to release you now, and I am going to instruct you that all of my previous restrictions about doing research, about looking up things, about talking to others, no longer applies, about watching any of the media reports or social media or anything like that. You're free to do all of that as you wish. Additionally, there is one protection that applies to your deliberations back in the jury room, and you can only be forced to talk about your deliberations through a court order. However, if you wish to talk about your deliberations, you may do that. That is your choice. The last thing that I want to say to you is that now you know what a hard job it is to be a juror. You've deliberated for three days now. Many times people tell me as a judge that uh, I have to make hard decisions, and I say no. That's in a trial division for the juries to make the hard decisions. So we all thank you for your very hard work in this case. So at this time, I am going to release you. All rise for the jury. Jury is exited. Everyone may be seated.
We need to discuss sentencing. Counts one and two require a mandatory life in prison without the possibility of parole. Do you want to set off sentencing? I think that would be appropriate. 